Uh, Yorkshire and Humber reporter Anna Riley has been in Beverly, which is a constituency, a town near Hull, which is represented by a Conservative MP. Anna, what is the voice? Uh, what are the voices in Beverly telling you? Good afternoon. Yes, well, I'm here at Mirage Cocktail Bar and Bistro and I'm joined by the owner, Ali. I've just been getting your take, haven't I, from the announcement that was made this morning by the Chancellor, two things that will affect you. Those energy price caps, they're not going to stay in place extended. They're only going to be put in place till April. Mm -hmm. And the duty that was on alcohol as well, that's not now going to be put in place. What kind of an impact is this going to have on you? To be honest with you, <clears throat> regarding the energy bills, uh, like we just uh, lately had a, uh, our contract renewed from 17p per kilowatt went to 92p, which is uh, from one and a half thousand pound a month is now over uh, six and some, some. I don't exactly know the figure in my back of my mind. Uh, and that is, uh, I just don't know how we or anybody can survive on this condition. That is an energy bill, uh, unbelievably expensive uh, from gas and electric. Uh, also, what we did today uh, from four of our businesses in Beverly, we made a decision that two of them will be only open five hours a day from uh, 11 morning till 10 uh, we used to be uh, opening those businesses and today onwards we are only opening from 5 o'clock to 10 o'clock to just uh, on uh, like saving on an energy bills, uh, electric and gas. Uh, there is so much you can uh, cut on. Uh, you have to have your fridges on, you have to have your lights on and y you name it. Uh, you can do a couple of things to survive on electric uh, by changing the bulbs to LED and things like this, but these are very little things what we can do to be able to survive. Uh, and, and those other businesses, they're all hospitality, aren't they, that you've got here in Beverly? That's right. How many staff are you employing as well, and would their jobs be at risk? To be honest with you, 120 right now uh, we have between four of our companies. Uh, yes, of course, uh, we are looking every angle that we can survive. Uh, by, as I say, from 17p to 92p a kilowatt is unbelievably expensive. And yes, the, not, not everyone, we staff-wise, included myself, we are all in danger. So if we, we have to do something to be able to survive. Thank you for sharing, no. Ali, there. So that's, that's Ali's take here in Beverly on that announcement that the Chancellor made. There's a real struggle with energy bills here across the four companies that his business run, and he's just saying, is time running out? He's looking for the government to do something to help with his businesses.